hi guys welcome and welcome back to ella pastoral on this channel i typically make commentary based content as well as just talking about like fandom spaces and the stuff i like and in this video i'm gonna be ranting and raving about fandoms that i will personally be in if there wasn't a lot of icky stuff that i was noticing so if you want to hear my opinions on the fandoms that i hate keep on watching okay so for the first fandom that i really want to talk about this one is going to be a little bit crazy but it's anime fans, okay? And this is going to be really, really scary to even say because anime fans be really mean and aggressive. But I've been having a lot of these feelings and thoughts about, you know, anime fans that I just needed to get out, okay? So a lot of my issues come from the fact that anime fans have no shame. And let me get, let me get started. And this is like a disclaimer or whatever, but... If this is triggering you in some way, shape, or form, I need you to really look inside of yourself and reevaluate. Because the things I'm about to mention, nobody should be doing, okay? And this mostly relates to male anime fans. This is a male anime fan dragon. Just a disclaimer. One of the main issues that gets me really heated when it comes to male anime fans is the fact that they feel very much like they are the leaders of the anime community. And what I mean by that is that they have a lot of entitlement and a lot of, I don't even know, chauvinism when it comes to who is a true anime fan and who isn't a true anime fan. A lot of these dudes watched anime in middle school and they feel like just because they've been watching anime longer that they have a right to dictate who's a real anime fan and who's not a real anime fan. For example, there's this gigantic discourse that was happening around some of the fandom spaces that was I was in where a lot of men would be like, oh, Oh, you're not a real anime fan if you watch dubbed anime. Can someone please tell me where I can find a nice guy that loves anime, maybe a little bit chubby, nerd. You want all that, but let me see your country roll watch list. It's still the weirdest fucking thing to me seeing grown ass men on this app constantly gatekeep women when they're simply trying to exist. And I just had to be like, y'all, y'all can't be for real. Y'all can't be for real. Because I just feel like I'm watching the anime the same as you. Like for me, I prefer watching dubbed anime so I can't like, you know, I have a life. I'm literally like in school. So I, I can't really like devote hours to watch anime. I, I gotta have the anime on the TV while I'm writing my essay in one hand. And I am not, you know, literate. I, I don't understand Japanese. So obviously I'm gonna need a little something, something. And I feel like a lot of people feel like, oh, if you don't watch anime, what's gonna call it? In the original language, then you're like, what's gonna call it? You're, you're a fake fan. And I just feel like that's so unrealistic because like a lot of the best animes well, i want to say all of that but a lot of the animes that we grew up in were in dub like for example people are still to this day in love with naruto and that joint was in dub most of us have watched that joint in dub like i know this is true because half of the edits and like the cool little audios that be trending be anime in dub that joint don't be in what's gonna call it sub so I, I really need people to be for real in terms of that because at the end of the day the plot the plot's gonna be the same the plot is about to be the same. So you putting yourself on a high horse just because you're watching it in the original language, you're doing a lot. You're doing too much. And one thing that has always bugged me about being a female in like mostly male dominated spaces, specifically as a girl who likes to watch anime, is that they don't really consider you a real, you know, what's some call it, a real anime watcher because you're a girl. Like I've had so many dudes literally try to quiz me on these random, random animes. And I'm just like, my, my brother, are you going to ask John, John down the street, um, which power blast did Goku use in episode 43? Like, why are you quizzing me? Like, for me personally, I love romance animes. And when I tell a male anime fan that, the, the problematic ones, of course, they be tripping. Like, you would have thought I cursed them out and came for their mama. But I'm just like, per personally, for me, I want to peace, love, energy, good vibes, right? But they're like, you, you don't watch no anime, you don't watch no anime. Then they start listening to all these random animes. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I, you, ah, I'm so mad because I just don't understand who made you God, who made you the God of animes. Cause you know, I watched, you know, I watched the popular ones. I've watched Jujutsu Kaisen. I watched My Hero Academia. I'm, my best friend really, my best friend is really the anime watcher. She be watching everything, no jokes. But I, I watch anime too. If, listen, 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 listen. Anime is an art form, right? So there means there's a variety of different pieces of art in said art form. It's a gigantic world oyster, but I've really had people quiz me. I remember I, I was getting shamed. I was getting shamed by these groups of men because I said I wasn't trying to watch One Piece. I'm sorry. That joint is long. 
That joint is long and the anime style is jarring. They look like sticks with heads. They look like sticks with heads. And now I'm being accosted because I say I'm not trying to watch One Piece. Let me live. Let me live. And that was just my interactions with people in the real world. Like on, uh, uh, on the internet, it'd be worse. Like a lot of dudes be like, oh, I want a girl who watch anime. I want a girl who plays video games. I want a girl who shares my same interests, right? But God forbid a female online wants to have those interests. They'd be tripping. Like I remember there was a trend where there's this character from like the Call of Duty games. I think they call him Ghost. The girls found out that he was wearing a mask and they started making edits and the boys were sick. The boys were sick. They were screaming and vomiting like, get, get a fame in the good, the good name of the COD franchise. And I was just watching like, as a man, are you not ashamed of yourself? Because this would have been the perfect opportunity, right? To go on Amazon, buy you a little cosplay and get you, you could, this was the opportunity to blow up your little platform. You could have gone viral. This I've never seen people fumble these bags like this. You going back and forth with girls talking about some, oh, ghost, ghost ain't a baby girl, ghost ain't a baby girl. You better go, listen, you better go put on that mask and go film a TikTok so you can go viral. You out here arguing with girls when you, you were fumbling your bag. I've never seen such, like, it's, what's it, El Riz, whatever y'all be saying, whatever y'all be saying. It's just, it's, it's low-key pathetic because I'm just like, Y'all be wanting girls in your spaces so bad. You want a girlfriend with your interests so bad. But when you see girls actually interested in this stuff, like, you say no. How'd that work? How'd that work? And I also saw a lot of discourse about, like, how girls aren't really anime fans. They're only watching anime to attract dudes. And I was flabbergasted. I screamed even. Because, listen... I can see some girls doing that because I also see like some girls being like me pretending to like football to impress this dude. But the anime girl, like the girls who I like follow on TikTok who be obsessed with anime, you think so? Listen, you think these girls are spending like thousands of dollars on cosplay to impress a man? Be for real. And some of these girls I follow even be dressing up like dudes for their cosplays. So I don't think these girls are dressing up as dudes to attract other dudes. Like to me that the the numbers is a number and and the, the math ain't mathing and i just because i hate to say this no i don't i don't hate to say this but the girls are running anime tiktok like half of the viral trends that go are girls making the audios girls making the memes it's the girls running anime tiktok the fact that the men of the anime tiktok sphere are consistently bashing the girlies i i'm perplexed and perplexes the girls with the, the pain and the weight on their shoulders who are holding up the anime community right now. I be seeing the girls do more cosplays than the dudes. Spending the most money. The girls with their beef faces doing doing things to their faces with the makeup that I wouldn't even think is possible. And you and you think they, they doing it for a man. Beef real. Okay, so there was also a major point that I forgot to add. Ignore me, I'm looking having a miniature breakout right now. But another thing that really bothers me about anime fans specifically is that there's also a weird like sexualization of minors and children. Recently, there was a scandal where they decided to take the character from the Spy X family, Anya, I believe, the little child, and they put her on a body pillow. And this isn't the first case of this weird borderline, I don't even know I could use the word, but pedophilic let's just let's say like that behavior and nobody wants to be for real in terms of that people always will do these illogical i don't even know conversations to try to justify why it's okay to be turning minor characters into i don't know like people just love to sexualize minors in the anime fandom too and that's something that grinds my gears but let's get back into the video so kind of relating to another anime-esque fandom that I personally have beef with, this is the Genshin fandom. So Genshin, let me let me read you this little descriptor that I, I came up with when I was Googling this Genshin Impact game. So Genshin Impact is an action role-playing game developed and published by Minho Wo, My Ho Wo. Shoot, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, iOS, and Android in 2020, and on PlayStation 5 in 2021. And it's set to release on the Nintendo Switch soon. Genshin Impact takes place in the fantasy world known as Teyvat. 
okay? Which is home to seven nations, each of which is tied to a different element and ruled by a different god. The story follows the traveler, I guess the player character, and how they have traveled across all these countless worlds with their twin siblings before being separated in Tevat. Okay, so boom I'm, I'm just just gonna i'm just gonna be putting graphics on the screen for you guys and when i tell you this game was right up my alley because i used to play this game called food fantasy i lowkey got locked out of my account so when i saw this genshin impact game i was like this this is gonna be the game for me and uh, and per usual the girlies on tiktok they were making these cool bomb edits doing doing character explanations and i was like yo i really want to join this game until I saw like the fandom was racist. Not only is the fandom racist, the company that made the game is racist too. Yeah, let me break it down for you guys. And what's so sad is because like these cutesy games like, like Genshin Impact and anime based games, the cuteness be distracting you from the fact that it be racist, bro. It be really racist. So as I told you guys, this game was developed, I'm looking on my screen right now by who again? <laughs> This game was developed by like my hobo and I guess this is a Chinese based company and I already know that China has a long history of colorism even towards its own people so God forbid how they would feel about actual dark people of color like Indian people, South South Asians as well as black people too and so the thing that really drove me into realizing that the people from the Genshin fandoms like are hardcore bigots is the fact that every couple of months you know Genshin releases a character of the month like a limited edition character and they have like had a notorious I don't even know reputation of making these characters come from indigenous places like India and Africa and the characters be looking as white as my earpod and if they feeling a little bit spicy they'll be making them as dark as my palm color okay which is crazy because these these characters are supposed to be from places where the people be be having some melanin they should be having some pigments but because of like the biases that this company has these people don't even be people of color they be people i don't even know people of bleach because no way and so the thing that really made me realize that both the company and the genshin fandom was racist was when they released an african-based character and i'm gonna put a picture of how genshin drew her here okay her name is candace and just by looking at her can you tell that she's supposed to be an african she's supposed to be based off an african because i couldn't I couldn't I couldn't tell you what where she could have yelled from and I was really confused because I was doing further research and I'm just gonna read you this article called um, why Genshin impacts why washing of Candace is problematic just so you guys can have a little bit of background knowledge as to why I was heated when I was seeing this nonsense okay guys so I'm just gonna read you this article entitled why Genshin's impacts why washing of Candace is problematic. When Genshin Impact officially revealed the playable character of Candace, the announcement was met with mixed reactions from players, with many calling out Genshin's Impact whitewashing of Kan K, on whom the character was supposed to be based off of. Candace is the Latinized version of Candake, the hereditary title given to Queen Mothers in the Kingdom of Kush, an ancient civilization in the northern part of Africa. Genshin Impact's Kan. Genshin Impact's Candace not only shares the name, but her costume is heavily inspired by Kushite queens. Okay, so now that you guys know that Candace was actually inspired by a African queen, we can see that this whitewashing of her is really crazy because how are you going to base a character off Africans and sis, sis ain't got no melanin? And it's shocking. It's shocking because why would you even go all the way to Africa if you want your characters to be pale? You're a Chinese-based company like there is a bunch i was just telling my friend how like china has been around for so long and they have so many dynasties so if you want you know to idolize pale skin like china has had so many powerful um imperial pale people if that makes sense all the emperors all of the empresses all of the generals you guys have a, a wide variety of pale people to to you know make these legendary characters from but y'all went to africa and decided to whitewash and it isn't just candace who is being whitewashed there are a plethora of other characters that i'm just going to put on the screen for you guys just to see that this is like a systematic problem and what makes it worse is that the fandom is racist too and it kind of makes sense a racist company with its racist fans because then people 
people are like, okay, this this game has no black representation. Let me make some black representation so I can feel included in this fandom. And people literally lose their minds. Like even when they see a black cosplayer, they be losing their minds. Like, I don't know if people think that when you're cosplaying, you're supposed to bleach your skin, but I'm gonna break this to you right now. That's not the reality. No, I'm not doing that. If I'm doing a cosplay and the character is not black, I'm not about to bleach my skin to do this cosplay. You guys are tripping. But that's how the fandom, the Genshin fandom, be really wanting these black people to do. And the Genshin fandom is notorious for just being so bitter towards black people. There was even this interview where this black dude was interviewing this Genshin player and was like, Black History Month or Genshin. Why this idiot going to say Genshin? And they were like, I think they did a like uh, an apology and they're like, I had no idea that Black History Month was so important. I didn't know what it was. It's in the name. Black, as in people, history, as in past events, month, <laughs> as in 30-ish days. Okay? But th this is how Genshin fans be acting, bro. This is how they be acting. And I also really want to really emphasize how there's just a lot of gaslighting from this fandom in terms of its racism. Like, people who make black fan art of Genshin fans will be like, really, really mad um, and be like, oh, you're making her skin dirty. And hearing those comments is really hurtful because damn, people really hate, hate darker skinned people. Like my melanin was given to me to protect me from the sun. I would have never thought that it would have turned people into bigots. And if you go, if you go, go to on TikTok and see some Genshin fanfic or fan art that's made by a black person and you check them comments, you can really see that these people are evil, evil demons, just doing whatever. And I just feel like me, even though Genshin looks like a really good game, the storylines look bomb, the character designs look bomb, it's cutesy, it's right up my alley, seeing as I love anime too, I have to protect my space. Like, I, I need to, if, if, I, if I ever decide to look past the racism of this game and join, I'm gonna need to find like a black server with black people who are in who are into Genshin, so I can build myself a little safe space. Because th these people who aren't black, who are Genshin fans, <laughs> I'm not dealing with them. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, guys, thank you for watching until this point of this video. Um, I really needed to get all of my opinions off my chest. I've been heated about th these subjects for a while. So thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any other problematic fandoms that have been making you mad, like Genshin and anime fans have been getting me mad, let's let's talk about it in the comments. Let's, let's really dissect our anger. And I also chose a video that I think you guys will like next right here in the end cards so go watch that and i'll see you guys in the next one bye